Picture this. It's Black Friday or a massive sales promotion and you just received a Google Drive with hundreds of static assets inside that you need to set up in your Meta account. And you know exactly what this means. It means a full day of headache, copy pasting, errors, uploading manually your creatives in the ad manager, getting a bunch of bugs, a full day of madness. But what if you could have a workflow that does actually all the legwork for you automated in a couple of minutes? Here is the workflow that we are building today. It's called Meta Ads Bulk Uploader via Google Sheet. Let me quickly show you how it works. The big idea of the workflow is that we can create our ads directly in a Google Sheet, putting our assets URL, website URL, all the copies, call to action, and so on, directly in a Google Sheet. The automation will then grab all the information from the Google Sheet and push that to Meta through the Meta API. So all our ads are created automatically through the API and not by us having to click everywhere in the platform. Let me deep dive and show you how this works in detail. Let's start by duplicating the template. So go to the template tab and look for bulk meta ads bulk uploader. Then you just need to click there, use template, and it will copy the template in your workflow. There you go. So the first step is to focus here on the top. This is the actual main automation. Step number one, you need to copy the Google Sheet template provided by Mark Effect. So you just click right there and you make a new copy that you name whatever you want. Once you've duplicated that template, it's super important to share that document with Mark Effect. Otherwise, the automation won't be able to grab the data from your Google Sheet. To do so, you need just to copy that service account and share it directly here. There you go. Now Mark Effect has access to your template. Second step, you need to add your actual URL to this little node. This is the node that will grab the information from the Google Sheet. So we will just copy the URL, get back to Mark Effect, go to that specific node. If you need, connect your Gmail account and then paste the URL. And finally, select the working sheet in which you want to work. In our case, we want to upload single image ads for the example. So we select single image ads. That's it. The first part of the workflow is done. Once we have the template duplicated, we need to do a little bit of cleaning. It's important that you don't leave anything dummy text in that template. So let me show you the different column. So the ad set ID is where we are going to input the ad sets in which Meta needs to create the ads. We'll do that later. We need to create ad name. So let's call it Mark Effect Ad V1. We can change the status of the ads. Let's keep it pause. Then you see here images URL. I'm going to show you that in a second. Then the website URL, HTTPS, markeffect.com. If you have a lead form, you can put the form ID. In that case, we are not going to use a lead form. Then we choose our call to action, order now. And then we have the primary text, the headline, and the description. So we are going to input some headlines. There we go. Here, you don't have to absolutely fill all the cells. If you just have one primary text, just keep one primary text. Never duplicate like this. It's not going to work. Every headlines, every primary text needs to be unique. So if you just have one, you just keep one. So one primary text, one headline, and one description, and that's it. If you have more, that's good. If you just have one, just keep one. Finally, you can select here true or false if you want to disable creative enhancement. This means advantage plus creative enhancement. So in that specific case, we are going to disable them by just setting it up to true. Now our Google Sheet is pretty much done. What's left? 
the URL of our assets and the ad set ID so Meta knows where to actually push the ads. Let's get back to Markifact interface for a second. So you probably noticed a couple of optional workflows at the bottom of the main workflow. Let me show you why they are super helpful. You know that in the template, we have to fill in the image URL for story, square, and right column. Instead of going manually in the Google Drive and clicking and getting the links for each individual asset, we can do that in bulk through Markifact. So first step is to go there, select files, connect your account, and then select file, and find the good folder here, and select all the assets that you have. Click select. This is the first step. And the second step, we want the automation to write those in our Google Sheet. Let's keep it easy. Let's do that in our template. I'm just going to create a new tab called links. Copy the URL, get back to Markifact. In my Google Sheet node, I will just paste the spreadsheet and select the new tab that we just created, links. There we go. Now we can just run the workflow by clicking here. It's going to fetch all the files, get the links, and write that in our Google Sheet. Let's have a look. There we go. So we have each files, and we have all the URLs that we can now input into the templates. Let's do it very quickly for the example. All right, we start with the square. Let's copy that here as a default image URL. If you don't have a story format or right column format, don't input anything. And most importantly, never copy the link of the square. It's not going to work. So if you don't have, don't put anything, leave it blank. For this example, we've made a couple of different formats. We just go here and copy the links. There we go. This is done. So now the automation knows where to fetch the assets to create the ads. One last step, and this is super important. Otherwise, the automation is not going to work. Let's go back to Google Drive, select all of your assets, right click, share, and modify the sharing options. It's crucial that you change the restriction to anyone with a link can view. If you don't do that, the automation won't be able to see your assets and get them. There we go. Now we are ready. So the automation will be able to fetch the creatives and we have the correct links for the correct assets. Now we have to tell Meta where it needs to actually create these ads. And to do so, we need to give him the ad set ID. The ad set ID, you can find him into your uh, Meta ad manager. But to make it easier for you, Markifact created an automation to retrieve all the assets ID in bulk. So if you go down the canvas, you can see here that little branch, list assets. You are going to use this one. So you select your account, you select the campaign status, the asset status, and additionally, you can add a filter. For example, in my case, campaign name contains bulk to only select the campaign I'm interested in. Once that little node is set up, you can just click run branch and you have your different ad sets ID from your campaign. So let's get back into the template. We have three ad sets. So we'll duplicate the line three times and we will just go back there and grab the IDs. There we go. So now Meta knows exactly where to create the ads in the three different ad sets. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use the V1. You see that I have plenty of creatives. For the example, I'm just going to create one ad per ad set, but you can literally create hundreds of ads per ad set. You just need to duplicate your line, change your images, change your copy, and be careful to input the correct ad set ID. Now it's time to actually launch the automation and create the ads. So you can see here in my Meta Business Manager, I don't have any ads created. Let's get back to Markifact 
if you remember we inputted the template of our document we selected the single image add working sheet we filled all the necessary fields the asset id and so on now we just need to select here in that create single image add node our account the add account and the page and it will get all the information from our google sheet and send that to meta so once this is set up we can just run the workflow little tips i always like to click on the three dots and run node so if you have several workflows on the canvas it doesn't launch everything you are sure that it only launch this specific one so i will run the nodes we'll let it run and we'll check in a second when the automation finish running if the ads are created properly There you go. So the automation finished running and you can see that the automation created three new ads with three new ad ID. So let's get back to the business manager and let's see if this actually worked. Let me refresh the page. And there we go. We have the three ads created in the three different ad sets. You see it only took a couple of seconds. If we preview the ad, you can see that the assets are correctly displayed for all the different formats i often get a question okay this creates single image ad but what if i want to create video ads or carousel ads you can definitely do it if you notice in the template you have different tabs image video flexible carousel and catalog it works exactly the same way as the single image ad you need to fill in what's required based on the type of ad and when you go back to mark effect you need to change that final node if you want to create different type of ads click there on the plus let's go to meta and here you will have the different nodes available so for example let's say that we want to have a carousel we can select here create a carousel create a catalog create flexible ads or create single video ads let's use this one so once we use this one it's going to be pasted right there. Let's put it back up. Same thing, we have to select our account and the page. And once it's done, what you can do is simply unlink your Google Sheet from the single image node and link it to this one, all right? Final step, let me just select the correct ad account. There you go let me connect the page select bulk ads and we need to link it to our google sheet and select all output so now our google sheet node is connected to the automation right there we just need to change here in the google sheet node not to take into account a single image ad but to take into account the single video ad and then we can right click and run node and it will upload your video into the account it works exactly the same you just need to be careful to create a new node link it properly to the google sheet and be sure to change the working sheet right there and just like that we turn a six hour manual job into a 10 minute workflow if you like the video, just click the link in the description, go to Marquee Fact, use the template and save a lot of hours on your meta setup. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you and see you in the next one. Happy automating everyone.